In the morning, Frodo and his companions woke strangely refreshed. There was no sign of the elves. Come on, you two. If we're going to toil through bog and briar, let's go now. Look, on that hill. <gasps> a horse. A rider stooped beside it. Quick, into the bushes and away. Going on wasn't easy. They had packs to carry in the bushes and brambles were reluctant to let them through. They reached a stream and after refreshing themselves with the clear drink, pale golden in color with which the elves had filled their water bottles, they soon were laughing and singing on their way. What was that? It was a call. There were words in that cry. Faster, we must cross the open country and get to the ferry across the river. Those fields? That's Farmer Maggot's land. One trouble after another. I'm terrified of him and his dogs. He once caught me trespassing, looking for mushrooms. He said his dogs would eat me. Well, if we meet him, I'll do the talking. Good afternoon, Mr. Maggot. Well, if it isn't Master Pippin, it's lucky I know you. There are some strange things going on today. This fellow was the most outlandish I've ever set eyes on. He won't cross my land without leave a second time, not if I can stop it. What fellow do you mean? Oh, you haven't seen him? He went up the land towards the causeway not a long while back. Perhaps you'll come along inside and we'll we'll pass the news more comfortable. Like I'm a, I'm a drop of good ale on tap. Let me introduce you to my friends, oh. Mr. Frodo Baggins Hello. and... Oh, Baggins. Well, if that isn't queerer than ever, we must have a talk. And Sam Gamgee. Sam? Hello. Now come inside, all of you. Come on, come on. I just heard the name Baggins before you turned up. That fellow came riding on a big black horse in at the gate and right up to my door. Black horse? Yes. Now, what in the shire can he want? I thought to myself, well, when Grip came out, he put down his tail and bolted off like lightning. Baggins. Have you seen Baggins, he asked in a queer voice. I felt a sort of shiver down my back. Be off, I said. There are no Bagginses here. Go by the road this time. Baggins is coming, he hissed at me. I wish to find him. If he passes, will you tell me? I'll come back with gold. (laughs) No, no, you won't, I said. I called the dogs, but he spurred his great horse right at me and rode off towards the causeway like a bolt of thunder. Now, I'm not asking you to tell me anything you have a mind to keep to yourself. I can see you're in some kind of trouble. Yes, I'll get out our small wagon and drive you to the ferry. The mist's going to be thick tonight, and we'll hear anything on the road long before we meet it. Now let's have a spot of supper. Oh, Oh, thank you. It was five miles or more from Maggot's Lane to the ferry. The hobbits wrapped themselves up, but their ears were strained for any sound above the creak of the wheels. The wagon seemed slower than a snail to Frodo. Then they reached the entrance to Ferry Lane, and the wagon creaked to a halt. They were just beginning to scramble out when suddenly... Stay inside. I'll do the talking. You'd better be hidden, Mr. Frodo. Get down in the wagon and cover up with blankets. Black Rider will have to ride over me to get near this wagon. Hello there. Now then, don't you come a step nearer. What are you wanting? Where are you going? Oh, 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 Mr. Baggins. Have you seen him? <laughs> Why, if it isn't Mr. Mary. Yes, of course. <laughs> Who did you think it was? Oh, Mary. <laughs> Mary. Oh, I was beginning to wonder if we'd Mary. ever meet again, Why, Mary. bless me. Well, good night to you all. I'd best be turning home. All's well that ends well, though perhaps we shouldn't say that until we reach our own doors, eh? Oh. <laughs> and Mr. Frodo, Mrs. Maggot put this up for Mr. Baggins. With her compliment. For for me? Oh, a basket of mushrooms. Well, I never... You remembered me after all. (laughs) Goodbye.